What's the easiest way and the quickest way to locate bass on a lake that you don't know anything about, that you don't know anything about? Wow, that's a beauty. Good morning, guys and girls. January 29 with frost on the pumpkin this morning. James 4, 7, James 4, 7. So give yourselves completely to God. We could just stop right there and talk a little while if we wanted to. So give yourselves completely to God. One of the most important things, maybe the most important thing you can do, give yourselves completely to God, stand against the devil, and the devil will run from you. Crowder's song, run, devil, run, run, devil, run. I've seen some tournament competitors become <laughs> downright ob obnoxious when they're doing well and placing higher winning. <laughs> Get a few people's faces popped into my mind when I said that. I've seen some tournament competitors become downright obnoxious when they were doing well or, or, or placing high or winning a tournament. We had a tournament at Lake Santee Cooper years and years ago, and, and a, a, a guy that became a really good friend of mine and is a great, great guy, but it was his first time to fish a BASS tournament. He was a guide on Santee Cooper. And the first day of the tournament, I caught a limited bass, that weighed 27 pounds, 27 pounds. I mean, I'm just like, I'm floating on air. I'm so happy and tickled. But Doug Odom catches 32 pounds, 32 pounds. And he's like five pounds ahead of me. And the third place has got 25 pounds. So between second and third was really, really close. Uh, I think Freddie Lister had third place, and which is another guy on the lake. So, I mean, I'm like tickled to death. I'm in second place, first day of the tournament. And so we were sitting on the back of my truck and I had a few guys standing around there. We were just shooting the bull and visiting. and Ricky Clun was there and Roland Martin and Ricky Green and a few of my other close buddies. And we were talking about, you know, how we were catching the fish and stuff. And, and uh, I think they were liking to talk to me because I beat them all. And so they were kind of trying to figure out what I was doing. And I was telling them what I was doing. I just had a, a certain area in really, really shallow water, like 18 inches and less where I was catching these giant bass. And no one else had found those fish, just me, just me. And, uh, but anyway, we were sitting there talking and Doug Odom strolled by and, uh, and of course I was a fairly well-known fisherman and, and he said, I actually won angle of the year that year as a matter of fact, but he said, Hey, hot dog, you think you can do any better tomorrow? <laughs> I said, well, I, man, I don't know. I said, I'd be tickled to death to catch the same string tomorrow as I had today. <coughs> and, uh, he, he laughed at me. He, he looked at me and he said, well, he said, I had a pretty off, off day today. He said, I'll do a lot better tomorrow. And I said, whoa, I said, if you're fixing to catch more than 32 pounds, don't be worried about this boy. I'm not fixing to beat you. Uh, as it turned out, the second day, he caught 15 pounds. The third day, 10 pounds. Did really well in the tournament, but uh, I backed that up with a couple more 20-pound stringers and won the tournament. But, and, and the, ironically, Doug Odom is a very, very good tournament fisherman, and he became a very humble tournament fisherman, but he just let the moment get a hold of him. He let the devil get a hold of him. He's a great, great guy. Uh, anytime I'm around close, I stop and visit with him over there. He's a super person. But uh, he just kind of let the devil get a hold of him. And, and you know, and he really probably believed that, that he could catch 40 pounds the next day. But he didn't. And the next set of a tournament uh, sentence really says it. Tournament fishing, however, has a way of humbliness. Everyone, no matter who you are or how much you want, tournament fishing will humble you. God loves humility. The devil hates it. God hates arrogance. The devil loves it. The devil spent a great deal of time trying to convince you and me how great we are, what a great thing we did, how much we've accomplished. Not only is such pride, which is what that is, pride, it's a sin, but it undoubtedly will carry a price tag with it. Something, it'll cost us to sin like that. It'll cost us to commit the sin of pride. Jesus himself humbled himself to the point of dying on the cross for you and me. How much more humble can you get? Jesus is God walking here on earth. He could have struck them all dead if he wanted to. He didn't have to let them nail him to that cross. He washed the feet of his disciples. He lowered himself to the position of a servant at every opportunity. What a great example that is for you and for me. Here's our tip for today, going to the upper ends of creeks and rivers 
It is the easiest place to locate fish on up on unfamiliar waters. Go to the upper ends of creeks, the upper ends of, wind, of rivers. Now you don't really want to do that this time of the year. Right now is not really the time, but here in another two or three or four weeks, we start getting some warm spring rains, the warm rains, not the cold rains, but a rain that comes in from the south, it's gonna be a little warmer, that water running in the upper ends, those, that's the easiest place. You're condensing your lake down to a smaller period, uh, bunch of water, and it's the easiest place to locate fish on a place that you don't know, know very much about. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. It is chilly out here this morning. Got down to 22 degrees. Woo-hoo-hoo, that's cold. Yeah, have you a great one out there today, and remember, I sure do love you.